guys, thanks for the click and welcome back. Lucy and I are here to show you how we made a birthday gift for a good friend of mine who was totally responsible for finding me my dog Lucy about four and a half years ago. She's a local business owner here in Austin, so what I decided to do was make her some slate coasters, but I'm going to personalize them by engraving her business name and logo onto the slate coasters using the Glowforge. I used Adobe Illustrator to make an engravable SVG file only using a few tools within that program. I'm also going to make a walnut veneer box to hold the coasters. So, please like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started with this project. I purchased these slate coasters from Amazon. They came 13 in a box, so that breaks down to about $1.50 a coaster. I removed the coasters for inspection and they each had four protective foam pads on the bottom. Next I measured the diameter of the coaster and it was about 4 inches, but the actual engravement area is about 3 inches, so keep that in mind when you design your artwork for your coaster. Next I grabbed my calipers, paper and pen so that I can take two measurements that I will need to engrave this coaster. The first measurement I make is the thickness of the slate with the foam pad. This measurement was 0 0.2700 inches and I write it down on a piece of paper so that I don't forget. The next measurement I make is the thickness of the slate alone. This measurement came out to be 0 0.1520 inches. Now the slate only measurement will be used when I engrave on the bottom side of the coaster and the slate with pad measurement will be used when I engrave on the top side of the coaster. Now let's load the coaster face up into the glowforge. Notice I put a white piece of paper on the dark crumb tray. This will make the coaster more visible in the Glowforge app. After uploading my image into the Glowforge, I click the unknown button. Then I click the used uncertified material button. It's at this point where you're going to enter in the thickness of your material. I entered in 0 0.2700, which is the thickness of the slate plus the foam pad. Next I clicked on each area and I clicked engrave, then I clicked on manual. At this point you want to enter in the laser settings for this engrave job. I entered in 900 for the speed and for the power I entered in 60. I then upped the lines per inch to 270. This will make for a more detailed and crisp engraving. It will up the engrave time just a bit, but it's well worth it. I left the number of passes to 1. I then moved on to the next engraving area and I entered in the same settings as the previous area. Now that I've set all the settings, I want to ensure that the logo is placed directly in the center of the coaster. So I adjust it a little bit and I head off to the print button and I press print. The print time for this job is 12 minutes and 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and hit the magic blue button and get this engraved job started. This coaster just finished engraving and I pulled it out of the Glowforge for further inspection. I think it looks amazing. I'm going to put this back into the Glowforge with the bottom side up and engrave the bottom. But this time the thickness of your material is going to be the thickness of the slate only. So I entered in 0 .1520 and the speed and power and lines per inch were the same settings that we set for the top. Let's start engraving. Now that we're done with all six front and back, let's go ahead and make the box. The quickest and easiest way to make your box is to go to boxdesigner.connectionlab.org. Just enter in the parameters of the box that you want to make. Select the units, I selected inches. The dimensions, that being the width, 
depth and height of your box. Then enter in the material thickness using your calipers. Next, select the file type, either PDF or SVG. I selected SVG. Lastly, click the Advanced option and tell the program whether you want a lid or not. Once all the parameters are entered, click Design It. It will then store your newly created file in the download folder. You can then edit that file in your favorite graphic or vector program. This is what the file looked like when I opened it up in the Adobe Illustrator program. And this is what it looked like after I added her logo and company name on the bottom and side pieces of the box. I then got a piece of walnut veneer and applied masking to both sides of the wood to protect it from scorching. I then uploaded the finished file to the Glowforge and I started the cut. When the Glowforge was finished with the cut, I removed the pieces and put them on my workbench. I then removed all the masking from the front and the back. I then glued the box together with Gorilla Super Glue Gel. I then took the glued box to the garage and applied a few coats of tongue oil. Here is the finished box and I think it came out fantastic. Well, this completes another project and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are ever visiting Austin and are in the Westlake area, please visit my friend's spa. I'll leave the details in the description below. Please like and subscribe and if it happens in my world, I'll more than likely make a video of it. Please have a blessed day and I hope to see you again. Thanks a lot for watching.